Hello, Cancerians. This is your very first video for January uh, of January 2023, first video of the year. And what I will do differently here is I will not use any of my cards. I am feeling more drawn to using my galaxy balls, which are sort of crystal balls, but they have resin in it. So that allows me to see galaxy galaxies. So it is related to, to astrology, to the Pleiadians. Um, and I'm just, uh, we'll explain this to you as we go along. The point is, we will look at three areas of your life, or we'll, we'll separate you slightly, because it's easier for you to then understand what the guides are talking about. So first, we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead, before we will then look at your emotional core, see if love is coming in, how you're feeling, maybe there's, there's um, trauma um, that comes out, maybe you should have to take it much slower, because that's the energy that I'm getting already, we'll see. It, it will be mentioned when we come to that section of your emotional core. And then lastly, we look at opportunities. Now, opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially, but money is not a spiritual currency. So oftentimes, while the guides are talking about opportunities, um, they will also reflect on um, the spiritual um, energy of those changes. In any case, I have two different... Um, crystal balls here this month, uh, galaxy balls as I call them, I have the, the dolphin one. And should I be drawn to this one, that is the energy of perception. So this is how you see the world and how the world sees you. So everything I would get from the, the dolphin galaxy ball, you have to see and answer a bit more detached, right? See it from the the situations you're in, if that makes sense, right? So detach yourself a little bit from whatever it is I'm going to say here. Should I be drawn to this one in the end? The other uh, galaxy ball that I'm having is this little guy. Um, and this is obviously the dragon galaxy ball and the dragon is associated with water and the color gold which is a conduit which means we go again goes back to the to astrology goes back to your origins this is a much more within energy so everything you hear here should i be drawn to this one is about seeing it from your inner core see it from much deeper thought if that makes sense right just word of advice, mostly it's quite straightforward. Um, let me have a look, uh, Cancerians, what I'm actually drawn to. And I'm drawn to the beautiful dolphin. Okay, so let's look at the overall energy for the months of January 2023 for the sign of Cancer. My name is Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's, Thomas Tower Reading. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. With that said, let's have a look at the overall energy for the months of January 2023 for the sign of Cancerians. Now, Cancerians. This is a very interesting energy because what I'm seeing is actually female genitals. What that means is this is about your, your, you creating. This is about what you have created. This is about what you can create. And this is all about how you feel when it comes to um, anything to do with... Um, how you perceive the opposite sex or the same sex, whichever you take. The point I'm making is in your overall energy, January will be a month where it is about you understanding how you hormonally tick. And it's not that you have to be a female here to get this, but you are being asked to look at how do I really feel? What am I feeling? And am I really creating something new? Right? So when you have... The, the, the imagery that I'm having here, this is all about Mother Earth. This is about being connected to you. What that means is if you are a bloke, it's the being, connected, well, being connected to the divine feminine. And if you are a lady, 
you are the divine feminine, but it literally stands out here. And I have never seen uh, that as an image before. Um, point is, please understand if you are emotionally and hormonally, whatever that means, hormone, hormones, so when it looks at, at spiritually, the, the pineal gland, your third eye, is connected to hormones and it's also connected, even though it's the third eye, to the solar plexus. So it's all about, you know, your spiritual center, your spiritual understanding and, and the emotions you have to make sense of what you're actually perceiving, right? And since this is the, um, the, the galaxy ball of perception, um, it's really important to understand what you cannot do is pretend that things are okay when they're not. Should you be a person that walks around with regret, with guilt, or should you be a person that just feels very vulnerable um, unless there's someone else uh, um, to sort of guide you, that in itself would be an issue, right? Because you are perfect, even though perfection is a man-made term, the way you are. You don't have to have anything um, that validates you apart from validating yourself, but it's all in that energy. So overall energy um, is complex for Cancerians this month, and it just simply means before you just, sounds horrible, but just the way I'm getting it, mindlessly do what it is you normally do. Step back, allow yourself, is the, the life I'm living, how much does it really, really fulfill me? And then pay attention to what is missing uh, without despairing, rather than, um, what I'm getting is, is for you um, not to repeat patterns. Seems to be a thing here this month in January 2023 for Cancerians um, about repeating patterns. Watch what it is you do all the time without thinking about it and maybe pay attention to it more. Okie dokie, so now we're going into emotional core about love. My feeling is that everything the guides say, just said, um, is also part, obviously because you're, you're one, you're one big being there, will also be um, coming into um, your, your love life, your emotional core, right? So um, let's have a look. Oh, that's interesting. For the emotional core, I'm actually drawn to a different galaxy ball. So I'm drawn to this guy, which is your see it from within. Okay, and you have literally all directions in it. And when you have all directions, the four directions uh, that, that we are using, um, if that makes sense, in the Western world, is you have everything you actually need, right? So whatever it is you really are missing with regards to, okay, what I'm not getting for you is, is that you have to sort of release a lot of stuff. It'll come, right? Don't try to block it. It'll come. Let it, let it happen. But you don't have to sit back. And, and release stuff. You just have to stop following patterns. It feels, energetically speaking, that you just, you know, it's, and, and I'm getting that, that word mindlessly. So sometimes you don't really think. You just do certain patterns that in your love life or when you manifest a love life doesn't quite work for you. So you have all directions, which also means when it comes to your emotions, you can do and go wherever you want to go and you can do and feel whatever you wish to feel. Point being, sit back a little. Look at what is what in your life, how fulfilled am I really am feeling, um, and then slowly manifest what you really want. And now we're looking at the um, opportunities for the month of January 2023 for the sign of Cancer and we're back to the Dolphins. So when it comes to opportunities, um, it's, it's an interesting thing because the guides are saying to you is there is a, there is a valley, energetically speaking, so it's going up and down, up and down. This month, the energy of opportunities is up. So while opportunities in January are always a weird thing because January is, is, has by default, you know, it's a long month, it's, it's the month after Christmas, <laughs> you know, people recover from spending too much money. So not everybody in January um, hires people if that is about work for you. But you have been in a bit of a valley and you're coming out of it. 
And you need to realize that now that you are feeling stronger, you should probably make demands rather than just following the next offer that comes in. Pay attention to what they're actually saying to you at work. Or should you be self-employed, right? Are you actually doing what you want to do? Right? So the point is, you're, you're coming out of a valley. And uh, now is the time to, to see things through and plan. But also, sounds a bit harsh, maybe not. Be a bit demanding in the sense that, you know, um, just because someone pays you for stuff um, does not mean they run the bloody show, right? Once you know what, 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 what you're doing, right, um, you, your uniqueness, your individuality should be intact, right? So by default, that, that sort of uh, means uh, for cancerians, um, it might not work for you. To, to keep doing menial jobs, and I don't, don't mean this in a bad way at all, but understand that if you are doing things just because, you know, they're sort of easy, right? Um, if you then come home and you're still tired and you haven't really have the energy uh, to look at doing what you want to do, maybe you, maybe you should have a hobby, this kind of stuff. The point is, if your brain is not really uh, uh, engaged, why would you sit someone somewhere for 10 hours, right? So... This is about reflecting and understanding if you want more from life. Figure out what it is you really want and then go for it. Okie dokie, Cancerians, thank you so much. This was your January 2023 uh, general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. If you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Please like, subscribe and share widely. And I see you all hopefully in February.